Hello, science writers. So today I'm going to show you a technique that I love for improving my flow when I'm writing. Nothing holds me back more than when I have to stop and insert a symbol when I'm in the flow of writing when my thoughts are moving. So what I'm going to show you guys today is a couple quick tricks for how to insert symbols when you're writing so that it moves quickly and easily. You don't have to stop and think and you're not going to lose your flow. So without further ado, I'm Casey Butler. Welcome to Butler SciComm. And today we're going to talk about quickly inserting symbols in Microsoft Word. So now I've opened Word and I'm going to show you a couple ways to insert these symbols. So the first method is by adding the symbol menu to the quick access toolbar. So that quick access toolbar, if you follow my mouse, is at the top of your screen up here on Word. And so you can see that my quick access toolbar has already been updated to insert the symbol menu because I use it all the time. And I'm going to show you how to add it. So the easiest way is to go right up here to the toolbar and you see this down arrow. If you click there, it opens up this menu and you can go to more commands. You can also get to this exact same dialog box by going to file options and then coming here to quick access toolbar. So the way we're going to find the symbol menu here is go to this menu that now says popular commands and change this to all commands. Once it loads, we're going to scroll down to I for insert and find insert symbol. And so I want to pass. So here's insert symbol from dialog. I already have the insert a symbol on my toolbar. I'll show you this one just so you see. You click insert symbol from dialog. You click add. There it is. It shows up. You can hit these arrows here to move it up or down depending on where you want it, and then you can click OK. Quickly before I do click OK, I want to point out that my Quick Access Toolbar also has a couple other key features, things that I use all the time. So for instance, I've added the Save As, I've added Subscripts and Superscripts, because these are the things I use constantly when I'm working on documents in Word, and for me, having them right here on the Quick Access Toolbar is way easier than having to flip through the different commands on the ribbon to find what they are. So if there is something that you use all the time in Word, then while you're in here and while you have the all commands open, go through, find those things, add them to your quick access toolbar, and when you're ready, click OK. So now you can see my toolbar has updated to include this symbol menu. So the two different ones here, this one we just added. If I click on it, it brings up the entire menu of all the symbols, the one I already had on my toolbar. If I click it, it first gives me the ones that I use most recently, which happen to be ones I use most frequently. I could also click more symbols to go to that big dialog box. So this is much easier. Normally I'm working on maybe the home tab or the review tab. It's much easier than having to go to insert and then find symbol over here to add it to my document. So the next thing that I'm going to tell you is going to be for those very specific symbols that you use absolutely all the time. So for instance, I often use decree symbols. I also often use the micro symbol. And so instead of even having to go into this little menu to find these, I prefer to just set those to autocorrect to the symbol while I'm typing. So you guys might know what this means if you've ever tried typing the copyright symbol in Word that looks like this. It autocorrects to the copyright symbol when you type parentheses C parentheses. So we're going to do that exact same thing, but we're going to do it with the symbols that we use all the time. So to set up your autocorrect to do this, now that you have the symbol menu in your quick access toolbar, you can quickly go here and go to more symbols. If you haven't put this in your quick access toolbar, you can also go to the insert menu symbol here and find it in the exact same way. What we're going to do next is we're going to find the symbol that we want to replace. So for me, I use the micro symbol all the time. So we're going to click the micro symbol here and then Right here, this button, autocorrect, we're going to click there. And so what this does is it brings up this autocorrect menu. 
And what you want to look for here is first, you want to make sure that this box is checked to replace text as you type. That's going to be key to inserting the symbol as you're typing. And then next, we're going to come right here in the replace box and we're going to type what we want to have be the key for bringing up this symbol. So here in the menu, I type open parentheses, you close parentheses. Here it says to replace with a micro symbol. I'm going to click add. So now that is here in my autocorrect toolbox. If I click OK, if I click close, I can come back to my Word document, type that same thing, and Word automatically replaces it with a micro symbol. This has saved me so much time in writing documents, it's unreal. So especially in the maths and sciences, when we're using tons of symbols, different symbols all the time, those ones that you're using constantly all the time, go in, make yourself a little autocorrect that you're going to remember, and you're not going to have to worry about going into menus anymore. Your fingers are not going to have to leave the keyboard to insert this symbol. So the last technique I'm going to show you for inserting a symbol will be to use a key combination to insert that symbol. And so the key combination will let, allow you to press a certain combination of keys at one time, and that symbol will just pop up. So I'll show you what I mean in a second. First, we're going to go back to our symbol menu. So we're going to come up here to more symbols. And I'm going to do this again with the micro sign. If I go to, instead of autocorrect now, I'm going to go to shortcut key click shortcut key. And so here the micro command is highlighted and here the cursor is blinking under press new shortcut key. So what I'm going to do is press the shortcut key that I want to use to make the micro symbol. Here I will do alt control shift and U and it brings up this combination here that I pressed. The reason that I'm using that is because I know that it's unassigned. I actually use it for the micro command. And I know that also now because when I click it, it comes up as unassigned. Now, so just for instance, as an example, if I were to press control U and bring it here instead, it would tell me this was currently assigned to the underline command. It's important that you check this because if you type this new shortcut key and you click assign here, it will no longer work for its original function. And so I know that Alt Control Shift U is assigned to nothing. I use it for micro. So I click assign. Here it is that the micro command is now assigned to Alt Control Shift U. I click close. I click close. If I come into my Word document, I can type that command. And the micro symbol just pops up. So the last two that I've showed you using either the autocorrect or the key combination, those ones are the best options if you have one specific symbol that you use all the time. These allow you to keep your fingers on the keyboard so it makes it a lot faster and it doesn't stop your brain from having to change directions from your writing to find the symbol. You can just keep going, keep thinking, and insert the symbol as you type. So this next option I'm going to show you is for formatting your text instead of just inserting a symbol. Sometimes when we're typing, it's really useful to have a key phrase formatted in a very specific way, and we're going to use this all the time. For example, in biology, phrases like in vivo and in vitro are almost always italicized in documents, and so it's sometimes just much easier to have Word automatically do that for you. The way that we're going to do that, where we're going to tell Word to do that, is we're going to come into our Word document and we're going to type that key phrase. So here I'm going to use in vivo. Make it lowercase. And then you want to do the formatting on this phrase. So I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to italicize it because this is what we want the phrase to look like in the end. Once we have this phrase looking like we want it to look in the end, I'm going to go to the File menu, Options, and to the proofing menu here. From the proofing menu, I can then click autocorrect options. And here is our phrase highlighted and formatted. It's important to make this phrase look exactly how you want it to look before coming into this menu so that it comes up here since you don't really have the option to change it here. So make your formatting, highlight it, come to this menu, and then just type the phrase that you would typically use to key this command. So here, 
if I type in vivo unformatted, I'm telling Word to correct it to the italicized text. So I click add, I click OK, OK again, and now we can try this out. So now everything was italicized, <laughs> which was going to make it come up, but if I type, so here I started typing in, you see the in is not italicized, but if I follow it with vivo, hit space, the whole phrase is in italics. Okay. And so that is a good way to make sure that if you're using the same phrase over and over again, that is constantly italicized, that now Word is automatically going to italicize it for you every single time, and it's not going to interrupt the flow of your writing. Okay, science writers, so that's how to insert symbols in Word. Tell me what symbols you're inserting in the comments below. If you have any further questions, you can also ask them in the comments and I'll answer them. Uh, you can go to the text version of this on my website. The link is listed below. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you make sure you get updated when new videos like this are posted. And happy writing!